Hello and welcome to the Tankspot Ice Crown Citadel Raid Guide. My name is Eliana and in this video I'll cover everything you need to know about the normal mode 10 men version of the Lady Death Whisper encounter. This is a two phase encounter slightly reminiscent of the KT fight in Nexramas. In the first phase, Lady Death Whisper is surrounded by a mana shield that prevents her from taking any damage whatsoever until her mana reaches zero, at which point phase 2 is triggered. In the 10 man version, Death Whisper has 3.3 million mana, which means you need to deal the equivalent of 3.3 million damage to her to break her shield. Two tanks are recommended for this encounter and two to three healers, as well as a mix of ranged and melee DPS. In this phase, she will attack the raid with Shadow Bolts that deal about 8000 damage and will also cast Green Clouds of Death and Decay that deal 4500 shadow damage per second and last for 10 seconds. What makes this phase challenging, however, are the waves of adds that she spawns. There are two types of adds, Cold Adherence and Cold Fanatics. Adherents are a caster type that deals Shadow Frost damage, have a magic shield and randomly cast an ability called Curse of Torpor that increases the target's ability cooldowns by 15 seconds and hence should preferably be handled by melee. Fanatics are a melee type that deal physical damage and cleave. Both add types have an ability called Dark Transformation which make them deal 100% more damage and both can also be empowered by Lady Death Whisper, granting them new abilities, most notably turning their damaging abilities into AoE abilities and preventing them from being interrupted. This appears to be Dispel and Purgeable and should be handled quickly. Every once in a while, Death Whisper will revive a fallen ad and turn them into reanimated adherents or fanatics. Reanimated adherents are 99% immune to magical damage, and reanimated fanatics are 99% immune to physical damage, so they need to be handled by melee and ranged DPS as appropriate. Reanimated fanatics have a self buff called Vampiric Might that increases their damage dealt by 25% and also heals them for 300% of the damage they deal, so they should preferably be kited. To handle this phase, have your tank and melee DPS take care of the adds. They will alternately spawn on the left and right side in sets of 3, so make sure your tank is always ready to pick up a new set. The left side will always spawn 2 fanatics and 1 adherent, and the right side will always spawn 2 adherents and 1 fanatic. Should a reanimated adherent pop up, have your casters handle it. Most times, however, caster DPS should be available to damage Death Whisper herself to deplete her mana shield. Making sure you keep up with adds while continuously draining Death Whisper's mana is the whole trick to phase 1. In her 10-man version, she does not mind control players like she does in the 25-man, so the only real danger she faces is Death Whisper's empowerment ability and not being able to keep up with add spawns. Once you figure out a good distribution of DPS though, you shouldn't have any trouble of depleting Death Whisper's mana and triggering phase 2. Lady Death Whisper will break free and actively attack your raid. Similar to Kalf Zut, her main abilities are Frost Spells, a single target Frost Bolt that unresisted, hits for around 40,000 damage but can and should be interrupted, and an AoE Frostbolt Volley that hits your entire raid for about 10,000 damage. She also gains an ability called Touch of Insignificance, which is cast on the main threat target and reduces its threat gain by 20% per application. This stacks up to 5 times, and without an off tank will result in your tank's absolute loss of threat generation. Kinda like what you see happening in this video. Waiting until your off tank reconnects from his internet failure is definitely recommended. She will also frequently summon vengeful shades in this phase that act much like the ghosts in Sethic Halls in that they will follow a player. Except when they reach said player, they will die in a 15 yard AoE explosion that deals around 18,000 damage. 
Make sure to watch out for them and move away from them if you are anywhere near one. They disappear by themselves after a few seconds but are highly dangerous when they reach a rate member before then. Death Whisper will still cast Death and Decay, so make sure not to stand and bed stuff on the ground. Groundbreaking thought, I know. Other than that, Phase 2 is much like KT's Phase 2 if you exchange Void Zones with Death and Decay and large beetles with small blue ghosts that everybody has to look out for. This covers the 10 men normal mode death whisper encounter. Thank you for watching this movie. As always, feel free to ask questions or add suggestions either on YouTube or in the strategy thread on tankspot.com. Also, Tankspot donors can download all of these movies in high definition directly from our servers, so if you'd like to learn more about that, just click the second link in the movie information box.